Hey babes, what's up? I'm back with another video today. I'm doing a color with me. So I'm gonna finish this picture and maybe start another. By the end of this, I have my pencil crayons here ready to color and we're just gonna get into it in a little bit however i want to know how you guys are doing comment below how you guys are doing comment below also how the weather is today for you guys we are sunny out and a little bit of a chill going on today which is really nice for february as some of you may notice it's february by the decor in the background also ignored the boxes they are just sitting there till we deal with them i am just gonna give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what's gonna happen today it is here in hamilton going back to weather i just looked at it very quickly it is looking like it's three degrees out which is super nice weather like i was saying we're really sunny with a little bit of a chill which is really nice for february um okay so my rundown heading into that my rundown is i'm gonna talk in color and I'm gonna just share what life is going. And there are a few things that I'm not gonna go super into detail on just because they are really private to my family and I don't want to share those. But however, most general things I'm going to share and we're just gonna color and chat. If you guys are watching this and you just want to color while you listen great join along and grab your coloring whatever you're gonna color print something off digitally color whatever you want to do and join in i am just gonna start here coloring my page and we're just gonna get into it without further ado all right um so many of you may have noticed in previous videos or at least the one where i did my christmas one the wedding picture in the background of that i am married i am coming up to four years this year which is crazy how fast it's flying by and we're already at four years um so that's crazy to think about is like four years have gone by and we've just been enjoying it working and living life and hanging out with people when we can and yeah um and going off of that we have obviously like I mentioned we've been working a lot I am currently working at a restaurant in Burlington here where we are in Canada and he is working also kind of in that area in his field of work um so we're both kind of close to each other when we're both working however I am working mostly nights whereas he is working mostly days with the odd exception of a night in it here and there um Along with that, we are still kidless. Some people may be like, oh, it's been four years. You guys should have kids. Well, we're taking our time on that. We're in no rush to have any kids quite yet. We're enjoying our time together with just the two of us. There's really no rush. We're just going to take it easy, work travel a bit probably is our goal here and there and um just enjoy family time before we step into the next big chapter of our lives um so that's a little bit about me and a little bit about where my husband and I are at um going on to next things i 
have been pretty busy dealing with a family situation so i haven't been around here too much that's why i've been a little absent filming and i apologize for that in advance i have wanted to film however with the family thing that i have been dealing with it has been pretty hard to find time to film a video and create content for all of you so that's why I have been a bit absent and I do apologize for my absence here. However, I am back, ready to get into it as long as I am available to. We're still dealing with some family things that are just, like I said, I'm not going to go into detail on a couple of things. This is one of them that I don't want to share details on. However, just know that it is a severe situation that we are going through as a family. And we are definitely learning things as we take this new chapter on and we get ready to move forward with it when in it's time. Um, so that's just something that we are doing as a family and it's not something that we all want to disclose to everybody. So I'm just going to kind of briefly touch base on that and then keep going forward here. Um... And moving forward, as I said, we are looking into possibilities of new things coming up in the year to come. Um, Family-wise, we are, my husband and I, not my, like, not our families. Well, on his side, anyway, this does include, um, we have one wedding on his side coming up, which is super exciting and is going to be a whole lot of fun. And we'll hopefully just kind of add some fun to everything that we're going through this year and to brighten up our year. We are also planning a trip up north with a group which is going to be another super exciting thing we're looking forward to making that a getaway of uh this year so that we can uh, kind of just relax refresh ourselves and get ready for the rest of the year so that is coming up in august looking forward to that like i was saying um other than that we have a pretty quiet year um, not much going on other than I'll probably still create videos here when I'm off work, but like I was saying, I am mostly off work right now during days. However, there might be a few days here and there that I'm working, which then I won't be able to create any content for you all. Which I'm sure you all are going to be fine with. Um, however, I'm going to still try to create as much as I can. With taking some breaks in here and there, obviously. And I know that most of you are going to be really nice about that. And accommodating to me taking breaks as I continue to just kind of live life also and I want to be in the moment in some things and I'm really looking forward to that so moving on to some other kind of things that are going on is I'm just continuously organizing this place. I know you can see behind me and like I touched base on those boxes behind me. There's a little bit that I need to clean up our kitchen in the back. I'm still organizing, just trying to find the right motive 
motivation to be able to have a better kitchen, better organization in there so that we can function better when it comes to everyday use of the kitchen. Because obviously our kitchen is a highlight of our time here. We love spending time in there. We love cooking. We love baking. We love just using the kitchen. And it's kind of one of the big hangout centers right now. Um, so we're just, at least for me, I'm trying to find a better way of organizing it. However that looks, I don't know quite yet. Um, when it comes to just general house stuff, well, we are getting ready to kind of pre-plant seeds, so you will see a video on that, is me pre-planting some seeds to start growing them indoors for our outdoor garden, and I'll bring you along with that. Our outdoor garden is located in the back on that side of our backyard, which is like kind of right behind our bedroom window, and it's mostly shaded throughout a good portion of the day and then it also sees a good amount of sunshine throughout a good, another portion of the day which is really beneficial for our garden and I wanted to pick a good spot that would have an even amount of both shade and sun and it worked out and it's done great. I'm looking forward to doing another good year of it and I know that it takes a lot of work but in the end the work always pays off and you benefit from it every year so we always at least at this point going forward this is our fourth year doing a garden so we're really looking forward to being able to grow our own produce and to be able to gain off of our hard work and to be able to save money at the grocery store so this is one way that we'd save money is being able to grow our own produce so our own veggies and a couple of our own fruit items and just being able to do that gives us a chance at saving where we would probably spend a lot of money in which is one of our big ways of being able to secure something down the road if we wanted something in addition to this place or to be able to move, we are definitely always on the hunt for ways to save and to be able to be beneficial to what we have been given. So we look forward to making a garden and being able to survive off of it. It's one of our joys and hardships, I guess I would say. Um, yeah, in regards to that, that would be it for our garden kind of covering that, and I'll touch base on it in another video when I'm prepping seeds for indoors. Um, Let's see, now I'm running out of things to talk about because I feel like I covered everything so fast and so quick um, that kind of hard to touch base on anything else. Um, however, maybe I can take a break and I will touch base on something that I was learning really quick I'll pop these in and then you guys can comment in the comment section below your answers to these so learning about Kentucky because we were my mom and I took a girls trip and that was super fun and we stopped in Kentucky and yeah, um, I'm gonna see if you guys can answer any of these, and like I said, comment below your answers to these. So, 
where in Kentucky is the National Corvette Museum? Comment below. Again, like I was saying, comment below where you think that is. A couple more here. Kentucky's oldest city is blank. Kentucky's second oldest city, established in 1775, is the Mary Todd Lincoln House is located where in Kentucky? What makes Kentucky's horse capital of the world? Because if you didn't know, Kentucky, one of their big things that they are known for is the horse capital of the world. They have the largest stretch of horse farms in the entire world, which is crazy to think about. That no other country outbeats them in horses. They have the largest, largest amount ever. So what makes the horse capital of the world? What, what four cities make the horse capital of the world? This is to keep your brains going, kiddos. What city in Kentucky has the Creation Museum and the largest ark that is life size? So if you didn't know, a quick base on this, why I'm asking this question is I am a Christian. I believe in Jesus. I go to a non-denominational church here in Oakville and we truly love it. We love our faith and we love being able to bless others. So maybe some of you who are christian know this answer and if you don't give it a shot comment below i'd love to hear your guesses on this and i might have one more Where in Kentucky did this original thing start and what, why Kentucky is known for it? Kentucky Fried Chicken started in what city? So those are my few Kentucky hits of trivia questions for all of you. 
hopefully you enjoyed those and hopefully you will have fun answering them in the comments below i'd love to hear your guesses if you don't know the correct answers that is okay i'm totally fine with that some people love just being able to guess i'm a guesser on some things as well i guess answers to a lot of things because i don't always know the answer to any questions that are something that i don't know so i guess and that's totally fine to be able to just guess and have fun it's better than thinking oh no i'm gonna get it wrong which sometimes i'm gonna don't get me wrong i do say that too but if you guess at least you're trying and that's what I've been told. So, I encourage all of you to guess. If you don't know the correct answer, that's fine. I'm not going to say that you're wrong. I'm just going to say that at least you tried. Because trying is better than not trying at all. And doing your best is your best. So, I hope you're encouraged from that. Um, let me know below what you guys are up to this day. If I haven't said that already, let me know what you're up to today and what is your favorite pastime to do on one day is that you are chilling at home and just get to relax and enjoy being homebound and you know just enjoy the home life I am definitely someone who's not big on being a home buddy all the time I love being out inside of nature and just enjoying God's creation that way but if I'm home I'm always looking for entertainment just because I don't want to be stuck in the same routine all the time, if you know what I'm saying. So if you have something cool that you do and you want to suggest it, feel free to comment below. It's always awesome hearing what other people have to say and what other people do to pass time when they're indoors. Especially on like a rainy day or like a super cold, wet, snowy day here at least. I'm looking for ways to entertain myself that don't consist of continuously watching so many videos or just scrolling on social media. So if you have book recommendations, I'll take them. If you have just games or puzzles or just, you know, anything that you pass your time with, I'll take your recommendations and um, consider them for my own use of time um other than that i don't really know what else to touch base on i didn't come prepared with a whole lot to talk on just because we're in a kind of quiet season at the moment in our lives and there's not really much going on to uh talk about so yeah um I don't really know I am obviously came a little underprepared for topics to discuss as I uh, have only gotten really I added this to my coloring I don't really like I was saying I don't really have that much else to talk about like we've touched base on the majority of what's going on in my life um yeah I don't really know if there's anything else you guys want me to touch base on, let me know for another video. Um, 
However, for now, I think I've, like, done that. I don't really know what else to talk about. Just because, like I was saying, we're in a quiet period, so I didn't actually think that we actually had a limited amount of stuff to talk about. Like, I thought I would have more, obviously, um... Valentine's Day coming up, as you can see by the hearts. Um, and then Friday, I have a date with my man, which I'm looking forward to. We don't actually get to do this too often. That was one thing I would touch base on. Is we don't actually get to do this too often just because we choose not to go out for our dates. Sometimes we'll do our dates in, so we'll make dinner cozy up on the sofa and then find something to watch and that's kind of our date night um we will go out for a walk around our neighborhood that's another date night do a bible study that's our date night um just won't go out to somewhere to eat quite often just because that's one way that we would probably spend a whole lot of money if we did it all the time so we limit ourselves to how much time we spend going out to places to eat so when we do, it's a treat, and we kind of treat it like a date night. So looking forward to that on Friday, a date night out, and we get to go to a restaurant and just enjoy that time. Um, other than that, I see my brother and my mom on Friday morning. That's the only other thing really going on on Friday that I can think about for this week. Um... Yeah, that's about it, I guess I would say. In um, recapping what we're up to this year and having a little chat on our lives here. I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you got a whole lot further in your video than video. <laughs> my goodness, I can't talk, in your coloring than I did. I definitely didn't get as far as I thought I would in my coloring, but that is okay because I can keep going on this whenever I want. It's something that will keep me going and change up my routine a little and what I spend my time doing. That's one thing I love about coloring is it can take your attention span away from scrolling on Instagram or Facebook or just anything really. So yeah. That's one thing I love about doing a coloring sesh or spending maybe five minutes or something really small limited time on it just to just pop in a bit of more color on your page you don't have to do obviously like two hours worth of coloring on a page unless you want to but I generally kind of flirt in between and I'll color when I get a chance to color like in right now on this video um it's just one of my ways to find time to do something else that isn't youtube like my own kind of watching and i get to create something while doing something that doesn't take up a whole lot of time you know what i mean also for those of you who are big colors, let me know if you like pencil crayons or if you are totally different than pencil crayons and you use markers and what markers you use because I would love to know what markers you use. And if you use a brand that's leak proof, what is that brand? And I think for now, I'm going to actually leave it off at this because there's not really much else to cover until I get into kind of our spring summer stuff and we move forward in our year. So for now, 
love God, love people, love your family, love your neighbors, and enjoy your day. Bye.